Greetings and welcome to the Introduction to Astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July the 20th of 2020, well, it is titled Comet Neowise and Nebulae. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image, as we've seen before, of Comet Neowise. Very prominent in the evening sky right now, just after sunset. So you can see here in the image, the sun just having set below the horizon. Uh, Comet Neowise just up above the horizon. And the two comet tails stretching back. And you can see the yellower dust tail curving off towards the right-hand side. And the fainter blue ion tail going straight back from the head of the comet. Now we've looked at the tails before, but one of the other things that we can see when we look at this image is that we're able to see a number of nebulae as well. So if we look off to the right-hand side towards the bottom, we see the California Nebula as a red glowing a high region of hydrogen emission. And up above that and slightly to the left towards the top of the frame, we see two more nebulae, which are known as the Heart and Soul Nebulae. And those are again our emission nebulae, which means they are, there are hot stars that have excited hydrogen gas around them. When hydrogen gas is excited and caused to glow, it gives off red light. Now, these are visible in the sky without a telescope, but not to the naked eye. You need a longer exposure like this one taken over about 10 minutes to be able to bring out more detail. So Comet Neowise would not stand out this much if you were to look at it with your eyes, and neither would the nebulae. In fact, the nebulae would not be visible at all, and you would need a telescope, a small telescope, to be able to pick up the fuzziness of these nebulae in the sky. And certainly, even looking at Comet Neowise, a pair of binoculars makes it much easier to see, even though it makes it look so prominent in this image, but it would still be very faint to your eye and hard to see against the glow of the sun. Now, Comet Neowise has now moved into the evening sky, and you can see it as it'll be getting further and further away from the sun, so it'll start to get a little bit better over the coming week. But it's also going to be fading. It'll be reaching its closest approach to the Earth next week, and then will begin to move further and further away. So as it starts to move further away from the Earth and from the Sun, from the sun it will continue to head into the outer solar system, and the tails will start to dissipate, and it will continue to become uh, much fainter and be harder to see. We'll certainly be able to track it with telescopes for a time, but it will begin to uh, fade away and uh, eventually just disappear as it just heads out as a ball of icy ice and rock material as it heads out to the outer solar system and will not return to the inner solar system for thousands of years. So comets generally can return in their orbits, and that can range from just a few years for some comets up to many decades, up to even centuries or millennia, as with the case of Neowise. So a chance to see Neowise here because it will be many thousands of years before it returns to the inner solar system again. So that was our picture of the day for July the 20th of 2020. It was titled Comet Neowise and Nebulae. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be not Neowise. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.